Well, welcome back to Exit 45 Restorations. And it looks a little different than the last time you saw it, doesn't it? <laughs> well, let me show you how we got that way. All right, let's do it. That was the only good tire on this thing. I figured I'd tackle the ugly, the ugly one first, so I'm sorry, we got some rain, so it's a little noisy in here. Alright, that one's loose. Let's get the other one. Okay, I got those off, so I really wasn't sure what kind of pressure they were going to have on them, up or down or, or what, so I just moved pretty slow and tried to be careful. Uh, so let's just disconnect the uh, axle housing. Uh, it shouldn't take long, and we should hopefully have the, the back end loose from this pretty quick. All right, well, that shock bolt did not want to come out, and it was hard to get to with the cutting wheel. There, we got it. A lot of work, but we got it. Two more bolts uh, holding the springs uh, to the frame, and this thing should fall out. So one of the things I need to do before I get too crazy here uh, and remove this axle is I need to mark my axle center line 
on my frame so when I go to mock up my uh, new rear end I have a a place to line it up to as of right now uh, there's really nothing to mark the center line I mean your bumper maybe but I mean I, I don't know could be the uh, center bolt of the bumper lines up but I'm gonna have to check to be sure so let me uh, let me pull some measurements and see what I got all right so a couple of the things I did here let me show you so I, I cleared uh, the metal just so I have a place to mark on both sides I've set the uh, drag braces back into their their place and that should be placing our axle uh, exactly where you know it's supposed to be it was kind of floating around in there when i when i had those popped out so uh, i went ahead and just set it back up the way it was so all i gotta do now is find my center line of the axle mark it on my frame so i'll have that reference point Okay, and now I'm just gonna line up my marks. Okay, and there you see it. There's my center line, and there's my center line. And you can see it lines up right there with the axle. So, looks good. All right, so I think what I'm gonna do on this is I'm gonna just cut it off right here uh, and then deal with this later. I can't get to the can't get on that and I don't know what's going on back here. I, mean, I can get on I can get in here from this way on the other side. But I can't get anything on it that'll hold. I don't I don't know if it's just rusted away so bad. Uh, I really don't know but it'll be a lot easier to deal with if I don't have all of this in my way. So I'm gonna whack these off on both sides. I'll deal with that another time. I just want to get the bulk of all this out of here so I can start prepping this frame. What? I can do that. Forgot to pull the bolt for the pan hard bar. All right, guys, let's see if we can get these drag braces loose.
All right, looks like we got one coming. Got one. You guys up for another one? Oh, okay. All right. Fine. Fine. We'll do it. There we go. Okay. Just remember, I did the second one for you guys. All right? All right. All right, so you can see I got a couple of them popped out here. Uh, one of the things, I saw this once before, and I've never tried it until now, is take the rivet and take your, your cut blade and just cut an X in it all the way down and then get your hammer, your chisel, and work it through and it goes through a lot easier. And it certainly did. Uh, this one here, I haven't been able to pop out of there yet, but once all this comes loose, that one, we'll get that one. Uh, I'm gonna try and use the uh, plasma cutter and just put it on here at an angle and just see if I can't burn through those and knock that off of there and then punch them out. So I'm gonna give that a try. Okay, well that seemed to work out pretty good actually. Uh, used the plasma cutter to uh, knock the heads off. Actually it was the tails, but whatever. Uh, knocked them off and I was able to punch them through. So, all right, well that's interesting. A nice, uh, nice way to handle that in tighter spaces. All right, so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and try and make me some room in here. So I'm gonna plasma cut this this out of here just get it out of the way on both sides so i can i have some ability to get up underneath the into here uh a little bit easier it's just in the way
we still have that bottom where I cut that coil and there's that bolt I was telling you about I, I, I had a hard time getting to it and it's really rusted pretty bad so not sure what's gonna what's gonna go there but at least I have a better access to it we're gonna we're gonna take off uh, this brace here we're gonna knock that off So now we need to get these uh, spring perches, but we have access now, so that's good. All right, let's get it. All right, two rivets here and here. Yep, just shattered it. Yep, shot across the shop and hit the wall. Missed my dad though, so that was good. <laughs> Well, the, the death wheel certainly almost lived up to its name. So shot that stuff across my shop. And guys, that's why I always keep my guard on there. I don't, this doesn't happen very often. It's probably about the second, maybe third time that's happened to me. But you're way too close to this thing to have that thing shred in your face. So anyway. I wear it, I use it, I wear my safety equipment most of the time, and I encourage you guys to as well. Enough preaching, done. Okay, there you go. I, uh, so we've got everything stripped off of back here. The, I don't know what that was. I think they, maybe a tie or something or another that went across here. Uh, I didn't take off the pan hard bar mount only because it kind of got into things I want to keep. So, um, but I got all of the spring perch out on both sides. Um, what else was I putting around on? And you saw it. I just, I just took care of a couple of extra things that you didn't see. There was a couple of miscellaneous uh, exhaust hangers that I knocked out. Other than that, get back and look, the, uh, the rear of the frame uh, really from, I'm going to, sorry, I keep interrupting myself, um, right there. I'm going to, the drag brace, uh, mounts, I'm going to probably leave them. I, I don't see the benefit or the gain in taking them out at this point, other than just a lot of work to knock out 12 rivets. Uh, and I don't really gain much. So I'm going to leave them in there. Maybe at some point. Uh, I find a use for them. Maybe they make good exhaust mounts as I run my dual exhaust back. <laughs> so uh, I can certainly use them for that. Uh, other than that, we're going to move our way up here next. I guess it's time to start knocking this out. Been soaking it for, for a few days. Hopefully that'll help. I don't know. Um, some of these... Some of these bolts look pretty cruddied up, so they're gonna be they're gonna be a challenge, looks like. So that's all right. We'll get it. All right, let's uh, let's pick a spot and start. 
let's get the shock first. We'll get the shock on both sides. We'll just work our way through this process. I haven't decided how I want to split this. If I want to try and take the whole front member at the same time, or if I want to just pop the A-arms off and pull that off, do the same on the other side, and then drop the cross member. I, I don't know yet. We'll figure it out. All right, let's see if we can get this off. I guess we can. There's that. All right, let's see. We let's see if this one plays just as nicely. Nope. Spinning on the other side. All right, do over. That one was a little angrier, but we got it. All right, well let's uh, let's see what we got with those. All right, let's uh, let's see about these upper A arms. Forgot about the stupid spring. <laughs> uh, all right, that's one way to get it down anyways. This time I'll make sure I'm clear and everything else is clear. <laughs> There we go. I expected it that time. <laughs> Cut that. All right, so let me jack this up a little bit, see if we can't get a little bit more swing on that A-arm and get that spring out. The other side, ah, not quite. There it goes. Okay, both springs. All right, so upper is complete, springs out. Uh, so let's pull the lower and just let's pull the each A arm assembly out by itself instead of taking this whole thing together. I think it'll be a little bit easier and not near as heavy. All right guys, so we're gonna get the uh, lower A arms uh, out next. So we just got this big honking bolt, uh, whatever you wanna call it, but uh, it needs to come out on both sides. And well, I don't have anything close to a, that size for a socket. So I'm gonna have to go with the long pole and a crescent wrench. I'm not, not very hopeful on that, but we'll see. Actually, you know what I think I'm gonna do? I just, I just saw this. But there's, there's bolts right here that hold this on. I bet I'm gonna do that. Yep, never mind. Never mind, yep, they're all the way around. You know, you gotta, you gotta look before you talk, right? Just stick my foot in my mouth and it doesn't taste good. All right, let's see if it'll come out.
two. All right, let's get this side. Make sure my toes aren't underneath it. All right, that one's going to be problematic. All right, let's knock it off of there. There we go. All right, let's get this out of here. Okay, meet me over there, and we'll get the other one. Nope, let's go back to the big bar. All right, here we go. Maybe not. <laughs> there it goes. Okay, let's get it out of here. Oh, I gotta. Uh, forgot about the steering. <laughs> the other side was was uh, was broke. Uh, this side here is not, so I need to. I think I'm just gonna cut it off. Got it. All right, let's get this out of here. All right, sorry it took me so long. Uh, cleaning up, just trying to get some of this dirt out of the way on both sides because I'm gonna have to get up underneath. I gotta get this bolt these two bolts up here on both sides so I can get the engine mounts out of the way uh, and then I got to get once that's out of the way I got to get in behind here and get these this and those three can you see oh, there you go can you see them one two and three on both sides so I'm gonna be up underneath here and figured I'd at least get the floor clean all right, let's get let's get this. Got that one. All right, so we'll just 
hang out right here and let's get the bolts that are holding it on right here. All right, we're down to three. Just these three right here. All right, here we go. There it goes. Wow. Ooh, doggy. Okay, guys. Uh, let you guys take a little break. I got this side pretty much tore down. I got one more bolt I'm taking out right now here. And I got one on that side that's loose. And that should bring down uh, this cross member. So hopefully not on my feet. Wow. Oh, that's hard coming out. Alright, so let's see what happens. Alright, let's see if we can tap it loose. It's coming. Got it. <laughs> All right. So just a couple more things to go on the front. Uh, let me show you. Okay. There you go. It's out. It's on the ground. Drag it out of here. So let's see. We got steering linkage. We got the upper shock mounts that need to be popped off. Uh, steering box needs to come off. And the bumper. Let's start by getting this out of the way. Uh, all right, upper shock mount. Too bad. Got it. All right. Upper shock mount's gone. So let's move over to the uh, steering linkage. So we just, a uh, couple of bolts right there, holding on the idler arm. All right, 
Let's get the steering gearbox. There we go. I know. I know. I'm trying. There it goes. I have conquered. Let me get this out of here. Come on. All right, I just got uh, four bolts holding it to the frame. I gotta get those now. There we go, one bumper. All right, there we go. Got the bumper off. The front's now completely tore down. And so is the back. All right. There we go. Okay, so. Let's, uh, let's, call, it a, let's call it a day here, all right? So we're going to. We're going to bring this to an end um, on this video. We've got a lot done. We got all the suspension parts tore out. That was a lot of work. So, I mean, really, what have we been doing here lately? So, I don't know, the last several videos have been me tearing apart a vet and me tearing apart a truck. So, <laughs> just tear stuff apart. But I, I think we're ready to start uh, at least test fitting and mocking up uh, some of these parts and see what we can, see what we can work out. All right? I appreciate you guys. Like, subscribe, all those good things. Um, and I will see you guys on the next video.